Weird Science is the revolution. Hello, all you weirdos. Jim here, and it's time for more breaking news. And as I like to say that an esteemed news reporter like me, kind of like a modern-day Phil Connors, I just got this off of the wire hot. This came in, and I'm going to read this from the Marvel press release. The headline is, Electra dishes out vengeance in Madripoor in Daredevil, Woman Without Fear. Now, before I go into this, I do want to tell everybody that I actually liked originally when Electra took over as Daredevil. I thought it fit Chip Zdarsky's story. You ended up having Matt going into jail and Electra filling in, but had to play the game Matt's way. And then you kind of keep going, and now it's at a point. It kind of should have ended by now. It feels like an idea that's run its course. Again, kind of a neat thing. I thought at first not everybody was down with it, but at this point, it ends up feeling like we've gone too long. And boy, if this was... Electra gets back to being Electra and maybe Electra Woman Beyond Fear. Maybe that's what I'd call it. Pretty cool. I think there'd be a lot more hype. I think people would be excited about that. But this just feels like, okay, another kind of made up thing, a, a bit of a forced mini series, because this is a four issue mini. It doesn't say that at all in the press release, but in the release itself, it has the solicits for it that says one of four. So I'm going to, you know, do some math, extrapolate. I think it's for issue many. But again, if this was an Electra book, I think people would be excited. But it does feel like they have to make up things, just like Daredevil Gang War, when you end up like, why isn't Matt? Okay, well, I guess you just have to have extra things to throw Electra at. And that's what this feels like. I, I think that eventually we'll end up having Matt and Electra butt heads, Electra deciding to go back to just being Electra. But here is the press release, which I'll tell you, I already tried to go through this once. There are so many misspellings and grammar errors in this, and it's something that just drives me nuts when you get it. It's supposed to feel official and really cool, right? They're sending it to me, an esteemed newsman. And when I see it, I'm like, why are you getting all these things wrong? I'm an awful speller, but that doesn't mean they have to be. Here we go. This July, Electra headlines as Daredevil once again in an all-new series by Erica Schultz and Michael Dowell. They'll go on to talk, and I'll say that I don't mind Erica Schultz. I think that she's okay. And why I say that, you might roll your eyes. Not saying her books have been great, but what I'm saying is she kind of gets some lame things, and she's actually able to kind of squeeze a decent story out of it. And I usually go with, say, music or sports metaphors. A lot of times I think she's like a coach who has a really bad roster and is able to get that really bad roster to play a 500 season. 500 season isn't great. 500 season is going to oppress that many people. But when she can do that and get all that from a team that has no business being a 500 team, I think that is impressive. And I think she did that with the Hollow's Eve book, which I didn't expect much at all from. And I actually thought it was decent enough. It was fun. And also the Daredevil Gang War book that, again, a lot of that Gang War stuff was an uninspired mess. These tie-ins didn't mean jack crap. And I saw some really writers that I like end up struggling with that, you know, tie-in stuff. I thought that she did a pretty decent job with Daredevil Gang War. So I think that she can eke out stuff, even though they're not giving her much to work with. And that might be the case here, because like I said, Electra, great character. Electra as Daredevil I thought was cool at first, but it's run its course. But here we go. Electra isn't done with the Daredevil mantle yet. And they say that right away. I mean, they're saying to you, listen, soon she'll be back to being Electra. And if you're upset about this, you know, maybe you can get this mini series, and then eventually we'll go. And I believe that we'll end up having Electra and Matt butt heads to make her go back to being just Electra being Electra, which is what I want at this point. Spinning out of Saladin Ahmed and Aaron Cooter's thought-provoking, thought-provoking is run of Daredevil, Electra will embark on an all-new solo adventure this July in Daredevil Woman Without Fear. The series will mark writer Erica Schultz's return to the character following her work on Daredevil Gang War, which I mentioned. Schultz will be joined by her Hollows Eve collaborator, Michael Dowling. So there's two of the books she also had, that X-23 book that was okay. Again, I'm not going to tell you that she's like killing it, but I will tell you that last week she ended up starting a 
Spawn series, Rat City, that's almost like a Spawn Beyond. It's a future Spawn story. And that was pretty good. You know, it's only one issue. But does that kind of show you that's a crazy, neat concept? And I think that she did pretty good with it. So, uh, again, I give her credit. It's not a backhanded insult or compliment. I think that she does a good job with what little they give her. So you end up, it says, Electra as Daredevil has been a celebrated evolution of the character. Uh, I think that people want a de-evolution now. And her latest mission promises to be her most intense. Yet, as she heads to the deadly streets of Madripoor to take on Crossbones, the new Punisher, and more. Nobody wants to take on that new Punisher. Readers will learn what pushes Electra towards this quest in July's Daredevil number 11, a show-stopping issue where Matt and Elektra will have a brutal showdown with Bullseye and Kingpin. So that sounds pretty cool. Again, you're really counting on people really enjoying the Saladin Ahmed Daredevil book. I'm actually liking it enough. So I, I'm, I'm down. I'm down with this. But again, you're kind of going where you're watering down the line here. So hopefully people read this. But after the stunning events of Daredevil 11, Daredevil's allies are left more vulnerable than ever before. If they're able to survive, it will fall to Elektra Matt Murdock to not only save their city as Daredevil or Daredevils, Daredevils, I say, but also protect the people they love the most as they're targeted by some of the most dangerous, violent elements. Might, might be enemies, but elements the Marvel Universe has to offer. I guess it could be elements. It seems weird. But yeah, so... You're going to have to, I guess you don't have to, but if you are reading Daredevil, Daredevil 11 seems to be this big issue that we're going to get, and then it'll push off with, hey, I'm heading to Madripoor, sayonara, sucker, and we'll end with a quote from Erica Schultz herself. To say that I'm excited about writing Daredevil again is an understatement, Schultz shared. I love the mantle of Daredevil, but I really love Elektra as Daredevil. Love of, again, I keep saying this, and this is why, and there was even a video out on the Thinking Critical uh, YouTube where me and my man Wes were talking about interviews and stuff and things that I was doing wacky back in the day. The idea that I don't like interviews and quotes and things like that because you just get the fluff deal. What are you going to have Erica Schultz say here? I really don't like Electra as Daredevil, but hey, it's a paycheck. Like, that might be refreshing. I don't think people would love it, but it'd be refreshing, I think. I'd giggle. But then she says, having written both Matt and Electra wearing the red double D. Double D, she says. Right? You get canceled for that. I kind of lean toward the latter now. And I'm like, the latter? Like, what? Oh, she means Electra? Really? You'd rather write Electra's Daredevil than Matt as Daredevil? Okay. I gotcha. Uh, I believe that. We're getting to the end of the Electra's Daredevil, and really, they're trying to milk something out of this. Maybe this is a mini that will reveal something to Electra that she needs to get back to being just Electra. Possibly, maybe sales numbers. I don't know if that's something that she'd be privy to. Maybe you know, people talking online. She goes on Reddit. She sees, oh my goodness, again Reddit or Twitter, either or. A lot of hate going on about anything. I mean, you could give people exactly what they want. They're still going to bitch and moan about it. You, you know how things work, right? But again, at the end of this, I will tell you, I don't mind Electra's Daredevil. I did more of past tense. I didn't mind it before. I think that it's run its course. I think Marvel has been doing this. I think that that was, and I don't think anybody would really argue that much with me. That's why the Krakoa era of the X-Men kind of went a little south. Went a little sour because they got to a point where they were supposed to move forward and didn't. And I think it's time that you need to have the next headline of as Electra, you know, gets her, you know, groove back. Electra realizes that this is nonsense back to Electra. And that's how everybody in it's it's kind of like the idea. If you like Electra as Daredevil, you probably like Electra anyway, and they gotta get that through their head. If they're gonna sit there and have Matt as Daredevil in his own book, you can't really put Electra in too much. Just have her back to Electra, please. Uh, but yeah, it's not a, a thing that I'd like go and pick it on the front lines of the picket deal to have her back. But I would like to have her back as Electra. And I think that you've waited long enough that you could end up having some mini series with just her getting her group back as Electra. So I think it might work. But with all that, let me know what you think. Did you like Electra's Daredevil? Do you want to have it continue forever? 
forever and ever, eternity. You can tell me that or in between, whatnot, but let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. But thanks, everybody, and I will talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.